YouTube by Freaky Dune. Hey guys, Dequa here, and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. So today's video is gonna be a little bit different. We are back here on Black Ops 6, but now I don't usually go into my settings and do like best setting videos and stuff like that, but I keep seeing online a lot of people are having a lot of issue with getting a ton of packet burst right now inside of Black Ops 6, as well as even Modern Warfare 3. And while I don't know if this is like gonna be 100% the solution for you, I can say with confidence, this is what fixed it for me. So hopping straight into it, because I don't wanna beat around the bush here, straight into the thing that actually fixed it for me. There's a bunch of other smaller things that I've tweaked that I I found like slight success with, but the main thing that has fixed the pack burst for me is the VRAM scale target. For whatever reason, even though I know logically it doesn't make sense because the whole pack bursting and all that is like network related and your VRAM is 100% hardware related, somehow, some way, for some reason, whenever I put this shit up, especially if I really, really overshoot it, it causes me to pack a burst like a motherfucker. And this is the biggest thing that I notice every time I see people online showcasing like their settings and you know, oh yeah, I get the pack burst, but look, all my settings, I don't know what's the problem. I always see them have the VRAM scale all the way up at the top. They usually have it at 80 or straight up all the way max at 90. And like I said, I'm not quite sure why this does it. And I'm not even 100% sure if it's going to fix it for you. But for me specifically on PC with an NVIDIA graphics card, lowering this to about 60 or anywhere that's right above whatever your required or estimated VRAM usage is. So if I just grab my mouse down here, you can see this is what the game's using. This is what Pornhub's using. And then this is the game's target VRAM allocation, I believe. So obviously, if you go ahead and you up your settings here, you also got to go ahead and increase your target VRAM and all in all, you just want it right above it. You don't want to overshoot it and give it a whole ton of extra wiggle room because for whatever reason, it causes the game to spaz the frick out. Now, another thing that I've seen a lot of people say that you got to do in order to get like lower packet burst is change this from optimized to minimal and then also lower your allocated texture cache size. Now, I don't do either of those things. I keep my allocated texture cache size at the max because logically speaking, the higher your cache is, the more that it can store without having to download and overwrite. And the optimized compared to minimum, I, I just don't notice a difference. Maybe if you have really bad internet, you might notice a difference, but my local texture streaming quality is low. I mean, I've toggled it between normal and low. I really don't notice a difference, so I just leave it on low. Now, the rest of my graphics settings aren't going to matter a whole ton when it comes to the pack of bursting. It's more going to be like PC specific, what your specs are, can you run it? Most of this stuff is going to be more like FPS related. However, because I'm playing on an older system and I try to get the most FPS that I can, I tend to turn everything off or straight up low, aside from the shadows, because shadows kind of be a little freaking pay to win sometimes, I'm not going to lie. Also, for whatever reason, if you have really low shadows you get like flickering and shit sometimes so a lot of stuff i leave on normal as well but yeah overall these are my settings i mean you can pause if you want to copy the rest of my graphic settings i don't think it affects like packet bursting or anything it's going to be purely pc specific fidelity cast i would usually put on an nvidia dlss but for whatever reason it literally will not let me apply that so i've just been rocking this and all in all these settings alone have been what has allowed me to go ahead and have the packet burst problem literally fixed now once again i don't know if this is going to fix it for you i can only speak for myself here also also, if you feel like you're packet bursting and you don't really actually see the packet burst icons, do make sure you have all this ticked on. I've seen some people who think that having this on and having your packet and all that at the top left is what will give it away. But even though it says packet loss 0%, you will still notice packet burst, but you have to have these meters on. But yeah, all in all, literally just changing those couple of settings has made Black Ops 6 just run absolutely buttery smooth. And on top of that, it also fixed it with Modern Warfare 3. Now, it's probably because it's like a similar game engine and, you know, they're both Battle.net. I'm not quite sure, but it fixed it in Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops six here for me. And once again, like I'm not saying this is like the all end, the be all, the best fixer, the 100% solution, because I don't know. I don't have a hundred PCs to test this on. This is just what worked for me. And I really want to emphasize that in case I get some fucking absolute cry baby. Like it didn't work for me. It didn't fix my year. Also, I see a lot of people say that they don't understand why they're packet bursting. Their ping's really good. Like I'm on 33 ping here. Usually I get anywhere from 33 to 60 ping and it's never been ping dependent. Even on the games where I'm at like 60 plus ping, I have no packet burst. Like maybe there's slight other stuff that I just don't notice. Obviously, a lower ping's the better, but I don't notice anything directly tied to like, oh, my ping's high this game, so the packet burst is high. Once again, at least for me, only can speak to my own personal experiences. Also, headshots are actually so easy to get on this small face-off mosh pit type playlist. I'm torn between doing it on core and hardcore. Certain weapons I feel like are better on core. Certain weapons I feel like are better on hardcore. Pistols, oddly enough, I find more luck on core simply because even in hardcore, they're like a two-shot kill to the head sometimes. So, but yeah, overall, hopefully this fixes your guys' issues. If it does, let me know down in the comments below. I'm actually curious just because like I said, I see a lot of people tell me that the main gripe that they have with this game right now, aside from, you know, the maps being fucking dog shit half the time, but the main gripe that a lot of people have is that the game just does not run smooth for them. They're packet bursting. They're skipping all around. It's just not a fun or a smooth experience. So like I said, with that being said, hopefully it fixes it for you guys. Hopefully you guys don't use fucking flashbangs. Holy shit. Might actually use my first perma lock on tack mask because you don't get it until like level 40. At this point, I'm literally just yapping in order to go ahead and increase my watch time, get to 
that eight minute mark and get those mid roll ads. So instead of uh, dragging it out and beating around the bush any longer, hopefully it fixes your issues. Like I said, if it does, let me know down below, drop a like, consider subscribing, not going to make more videos like this. Just a little bit of a one-off and uh, yeah, like something. See you fudge later. Deuces.